Hey everyone, I'm David. And I'm Ro. And today we're gonna do another Was It Worth It video in which we share with you guys a bunch of RVing gear and equipment that we have that we've owned for quite a while and you know we've tested for you guys and we know <laughs> for certain we have conclusive results as to whether or not these items are worth it. If you end up being interested in any of the items that we talk about in this video, we're going to go ahead and pop some links down in the video description below so that you can check all of them out for yourself. But we're going to be starting with our mattress. We've actually had this mattress from Mattress Insider for almost five months now. And we were really excited to get it because, well, it is their top of the line mattress that they offer for RVs and we were excited because our original mattress was really cheap and it, it slept us really hot, but this mattress, it's wrapped in this organic um, cotton exterior. The top layer underneath this is a um, gel foam and then underneath that it's memory foam. So it's so incredibly nice and soft and the gel foam makes it so that we're not sleeping hot, which was an issue we had with our other mattress. This mattress has been really, really fantastic. We love it. Um, it cost us about $900, but again, that's their top of the line one. So it was kind of expensive, but they actually have all different kinds. You can get a custom mattress, so like, you know, custom shapes and all that through Mattress Insider, and they start as low as $200. So, you know, it, there are super affordable options out there for everyone, including the same like Just Short RV Queen. We got the most expensive Short RV Queen that they offered. And we are so, so happy with it, guys. It did take my back about three weeks or so to get used to this bed because our other mattress was really soft. And this one's just a little bit firmer than our old one. And I'm pretty sure it's just because it was really old. <laughs> but it took my back a while to get used to it. But now I sleep like the dead. I know that David gets better sleep every night than, than they used to as well. So... I just, I can't say enough good things about this mattress. We are so glad that we got this. It's amazing. Sweetie loves it. She sleeps up here all the time. I, th I don't even know if she sleeps up here more than she used to, but it's saying something when she picks the bed over her own bed. <laughs> huh. Do you like it too? Yeah, do you like it too? I'll take that paw. Yeah. It's so soft, huh? The next item is our electric e-bikes. Now, Ro has a matching one as well, but this one is mine. And they cost $899 new from electric. And if you guys have seen the other videos that we've made with these bikes, then you already know the answer to whether or not they were worth it. And that is, they absolutely are. We love these bikes so much. They make it so fun and so easy to explore areas like the National Forest or in, when we're in the desert. We can just take these things out and just go tearing down the forest roads. They're so much fun. Uh, you know, they go in the mid-20s mile an hour top speed and you can get about 50 miles of range on a single charge and the best part about them for travelers and RVers like us is that they fold up so you know you there's a latch right here in the middle you can fold this bike up you know the handlebars uh, unlatch as well and fold down and so it's a really small footprint and they fit so perfectly in the back of our truck uh, like I said if you want more information we've made some videos on these that you can check out where we go into full depth on all of the options and you know everything that these bikes have but we love them so much and uh, you know we don't stay in a lot of RV parks but for people that do stay in RV parks, these are awesome too, because you know that people are always like cruising around on their uh, golf carts or you know their quads or their side-by-sides. Well, you can cruise around the RV park the same way. You can get to any nearby attractions, maybe the nearby convenience store or grocery store, really easy with a electric or with an electric bike. Uh, it's just such a great thing to have around. It's a nice toy to have when you're traveling in an RV. Now, like I said, Ro has a different model than what I have. Her bike is a step-through model where this crossbar actually comes down quite a bit lower. Uh, so that is 
it's easier to swing her leg over because she's not as tall as I am. So swinging her leg up over this one is just, you know, a little troublesome. And also, you know, maybe if you've got bad knees or bad hips or whatever, and uh, you don't want to have to pick your leg up really high to get up over this, then the step through model they have would be perfect. And they are available in both black and white. Before we get to the next item though, I wanna tell you about the best campsite finding app that we've ever used, The Dirt. The Dirt is the best campsite finding website and smartphone app we've ever used. However you camp, in a tent, trailer, RV, or cabin, The Dirt makes finding accommodations easy. And with over a million listings, you're sure to find the perfect campsite. The Dirt website and app are free to use. However, they have an extremely affordable Pro membership available for only $3 per month. Pro has many indispensable features for travelers like us, such as offline access and downloadable maps so you can search for campsites anywhere, map overlays for BLM land, national forests, and national parks so there's no questioning what land you're on, and a trip planner so you can see all the campgrounds and fuel stops along your route. A pro membership will also get you up to 40% off at hundreds of campgrounds across the country and up to 30% off camping gear made by many major brands. And if you go through the link in the video description below and use promo code FATE, you'll receive a free 90-day membership to the Dirt Pro. Unlock better camping with exclusive features and savings with the Dirt Pro. The next item I want to talk about is actually our outdoor rug right here. And our rug is actually made by Funky Strokes. We've had it for about six months or so now, and we love it. <laughs> we spent almost the first four whole years of our travels on the road with a tiny little carpeted outdoor rug. And if any of you have ever used an outdoor carpeted rug, you know that, um, it holds a lot of water and a lot of dirt and ours was no different and it very quickly kind of fell apart <laughs> and we kept it for years and years until we finally decided let's just get a better rug and we went with this one because it's made out of plastic which means that when it rains the water actually soaks through it instead of into it and that is one of the things that we hated the most we typically go to rainy areas kind of often and when it rains and that soak and that rug got soaking wet you know it would be nearly impossible to dry it out and we'd have to pack it into the truck sopping wet lay it back out sopping wet it took days for that to dry not only that but because it was a regular carpeted rug <laughs> We couldn't stake it down and the wind always picked it up and flew it all over the place and you know that's just so annoying but with this not only do we have an amazing amount of room where we're not constantly tracking sand in because it's a larger space but we can stake it down so the wind doesn't blow the rug away and it's really nice for hanging out typically when we would have our outdoor chairs out and we'd be sitting in them our feet would be in the dirt that's how small our other rug was <laughs> now this one is 9 by 12 and it's actually much larger than we anticipated when we got it, but that's okay. We really like it. It was just over $100, and yeah, we love it. As you can see, we're in a really sandy area right now, which means that sand gets tracked in a lot. But the thing that is so amazing about this rug is just how incredibly easy it is to clean. You just get the broom out and you sweep it off and all the dirt's gone. And like whatever is big enough to sweep off gets swept off and all the tiny particles just work their way through because it's just woven plastic so it just falls through it's really nice to keep clean and it's awesome for sweetie out here because she's gonna track all of the sand everywhere and so now when we come out and we lay out here or we hang out here with her we can have her lay down on the rug instead of in the dirt <laughs> it doesn't track all that dirt inside it's really awesome we love it the next item is the Bluetti EB240 portable power station. Now this thing has 2400 watt hours of battery capacity in its lithium ion battery. And it also comes with a pure sine wave inverter so that it can provide AC 120 volt power to you know AC appliances. And what we typically power with this is our laptops. And the main reason we got this thing is so that, uh, yeah, we could power our laptops or any other AC appliance that we needed to uh, when our RVs 
these batteries started to get low. Like say we went through a string of cloudy days in a row and our solar just wasn't able to keep our RV's lithium batteries charged up. Uh, you know, we could turn on the Blue Eddy and then still power our laptops for a little more time to give our you know house batteries some time to charge up. And it, it's done a great job at doing that. You know, we're, we're happy with it in that respect. Uh, and it also has uh, USB charging ports up front so you can charge your phones or whatever, you know, DC USB appliance you have. And it also has a cigarette lighter style charging port uh, as well. Um, now for us, the Blue Eddy turns out it wasn't really worth it for us. It costs $1,500. And so that's pretty expensive. Um, but you know, when you take into consideration what the Blue Eddy has, you know, the, the all in one package, $1,500 is actually a really good price. It's just for us, we haven't really used it that much. We thought we were gonna end up using it a lot more often, uh, but uh, our power consumption just really hasn't been as high as we thought it was going to be. Uh, we, we kept bumping into situations where we were getting low on power, and so we thought, you know, maybe we could either buy another lithium battery uh, for our battery bank, or we could get a portable power station so that we had a portable option as well. And in the time that we've owned this, we've only used it a couple times. So yeah, for us, it hasn't really been worth it, unfortunately. However, I don't want to take away from the quality of this product. The, it's when we've needed it, it's performed great. And it has a uh, little DC charging port here in the front and you can charge this thing with solar. And we bought an extra solar panel, you know, just a cheap uh, 120 watt solar panel on Amazon, or I'm sorry, it's a 160 watt Amazon, uh, one of those foldable one, or foldable, flexible, sorry, folder, um, solar panel. And, you know, so we've been able to charge this with its own solar panel outside and it's done great for that as well. So we're really happy with it for when we've needed to use it. We just haven't really needed to use it very often. So uh, if you're someone that has a, you know, full integrated RV solar setup like we do, then maybe getting a big portable power station like this uh, probably isn't worth it. You might just want to get another battery, you know, increase your your RV's battery bank capacity. But if you're someone that doesn't want to mess around or go through the hassle of installing a full complex integrated solar system on your RV, and you'd much rather just have something like this to power the occasional AC appliance, then this is an excellent option. But like I said, for us, it just wasn't worth it. Next on our list are our 30 pound propane tanks. Now, our RV didn't come with these and I know that some big class A's might come with some larger propane tanks like this, but we ended up buying these ourselves when we realized that our propane usage was high enough that we got too tired of going into town all the time to fill up our propane. And so we decided to go with two 30 pound propane tanks to replace the two 20 pound propane tanks that we used to have. And we've had these for about a year and I'm so glad that we got these. <laughs> we used to go through one um, 20 pound propane tank about every seven days or so. So about once a week, we'd have to go and fill up one of our propane tanks. If it wasn't cold enough at night to need to turn the furnace on, we could get about a week and a half out of them. But our refrigerator runs off of propane, so does our water heater, and so does our furnace. And we use all three of those all the time so we use a lot of propane and switching to these two 30 propane propane 30 pound propane tanks has been amazing now one of these lasts us at least two weeks sometimes two and a half weeks and so between the two of these we don't have to fill them up but mostly once every month just like once a month for both of them and that's really amazing going from having to go in once a week for just one to once a month for both of them has been so amazing and for us it was totally worth it they are about 75 dollars each and i just the convenience alone of not having to drive to the nearest town and because we boondock all of the time the nearest town is typically minimum of 30 minutes away right now the nearest town is over 45 minutes away to get these filled up so being able to go a lot longer and not have to drive and use the diesel just to go get more propane has been a massive bonus. It's pretty fantastic.
And then the last item on our list is this telescoping ladder. And so our trailer did not come with a ladder on the back of it. And we knew we'd have to get up onto the, up onto the roof of our trailer multiple times because we've got solar panels mounted to the roof. And so something like this was an absolute must have for us. Um, something that, you know, fold or telescopes down to a really small size. And I'm pretty sure this thing is 12 and a half feet tall, fully extended. You know, we can just set this into the back of our truck really easily. It's, it's incredible. Now this thing is pretty expensive. It was over $250 just for a ladder, but we've had it for four years. We use it so often to get up onto the roof to, you know, um, uh, clean the solar panels or tilt the solar panels. And it's, it's awesome. We love it. And it's very easy to telescope up. You literally just pull it and, you know, these little things lock into place and then there we go. I've got a ladder that I can use to get up onto the roof of the of our travel trailer. It's just extremely easy to use. It's it's fairly lightweight for what it is. Um, it's it's not cumbersome. It doesn't take up a whole lot of space when it's you know fully compacted, telescope down. Um, yeah, it's just been absolutely worth it. I love this thing. Um, and if you've got a taller travel trailer or like a taller fifth wheel or motorhome or something, they do make taller models. They're a little more expensive. Um, but yeah, this thing has been excellent. And personally, I actually prefer not having a ladder on the back of our travel trailer. And I would much rather have something like this just because, you know, our back window isn't blocked by a ladder. Uh, no one else can get up onto the roof of our travel trailer uh, when we're gone. Um, you know, they, they can't just use the ladder that's already mounted there. Uh, yeah, I love this thing. It's absolutely worth the money. So that has been six more RV related items and equipment that we own and have tested so that we can tell you guys for sure whether or not they were worth it. And if you guys haven't gotten enough of us, especially Ro in particular, she has a Twitch channel where she streams on regularly. So I'll go ahead and drop a link in the video description to her Twitch channel as well. So if you wanna hang out with her live, go ahead and click that link and give her a follow. But that is all for this video. We'll see you guys next time. Bye. <laughs> bye. Sweetie girl, you wanna say bye? <laughs> <laughs> She's gonna shove you off that hammock. <laughs>